Okay. Hey, sorry everyone. I've got to adjust this a little bit. Now, welcome to part three, if you can believe it, of the new moon in Mula reading for the 23rd of December 2022. Now, uh, forgive me for this, but I had to empty a few containers. But um, yeah, long story short, that's why I had to take a take a break and come back to the last two signs of the zodiac that I'm about to do. The first one being Virgo, which is right here. Okay, so this is for Uttara Palguni, Hasta and Chitra. And the cards that I've got for Virgs are Tower and the Six of Wands. Now, from the 16th to the 21st for Virgos. Um, oh, no, first of all, let me start off by saying what I see with with the tower and with the six of wands usually the tower card brings lightning and then the the tower crumbles because of the lightning but it feels like in this case the tower represents rewards that are being dropped maybe because the tree is so big and the fruit is so big it could be calamitous on the way down if you didn't move out of the way in time. But the thing that we're avoiding, after we've avoided it and after we've swerved enough to not cause ourselves an injury, we start to see the fruit that it bears. It feels like many Virgos in this half of the month they avoid a lot of disaster I don't know how you guys do it but there's a lot of disaster around you and instead of being in the tower when the lightning strikes or being in the wrong place at the wrong time when the fruit starts to fall from that big ass tree instead of any of that happening um you actually benefit from the rewards come to think of it this also this could also look like um people offering making offerings to the tree or to the religion that the tree belongs to so there's another element of that as well it feels like virgos you have a real respect i'm going to be real with you i shouldn't i shouldn't say this but some virgos are magical some virgos are practicing and it feels like you have a real respect, not only for the deities that you pray to or the deities that you work with. It feels like you have a respect for the overall purpose of your practice. You have respect for the karmic side of things. You have respect for the nature of life. You have respect for all of it. So thus, when disaster tries to find you, it doesn't because you have too much respect for the cycle of life you have too much respect for your guides you have too much respect for the people around you and for the work that you do to catch any type of disaster and yeah you're caught off guard at one point but you escape that you escape that so there are a lot of disasters happening around you that could have affected you, but they don't because you have too much respect for spirit, basically. So let's see what happens from the 16th to the 21st. We've got army and inevitable confrontation. So war is erupting around you. It doesn't have to be literal war, but it can be literal war. But war is erupting around you. You over there, um, you're thriving in the midst of the chaos, though. You're thriving on your own. It says being a natural, winning with ease, winning at something new. So nobody's actually beefing with you. In fact, you're one of the few people in your environment that nobody's beefing with. And the reason for this, again, is because you have respect for spirit and you have respect for the cycles. And when you have respect for the cycles, there are certain things that you manage to swerve very easily. So 
whilst everyone else is fighting amongst themselves and, and, and conflict and all that type of shit, you very wisely stay well out of it and you focus on your strengths. And yeah, you're, you're very smart with it. You're very smart with the decisions you make. And, you know, instead of like trying to stop people from fighting, you'll slowly kind of back away and you'll pull unsuspecting people from the conflict and you'll protect them and you'll make sure that they're all right. So for the 22nd to the 25th, Oh, this Christmas day is going to be doozy. Okay, so put a double pin in endless fighting. And then we've got staying on top, winning with ease, caught off guard. You are caught off guard, but again, it's something that you don't... It's something that you, you manage to walk away from unscathed because, again, you have too much respect for the cycles of life. And karma is one of those things that you have absolute respect for. You're, you're not one of those people that try to avoid their karma. So you work with the karma, you work with the laws of spirit in order to, in order to, you know, not make your life easier, but just to live, you know? So you do win with ease. I, 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 and even when you're caught off guard, like, from the period from the 22nd to Christmas day, even when you're caught off guard, like it, it doesn't move you like that because you're way too focused on what you're supposed to be doing. Everyone else is doing what they're not supposed to be doing. They're trying to play at power struggles. They're trying to be the leader or be the one who's in charge. You are in the space of, I'm doing my job. I know my place. I, I, I know my mark. I act on it. I don't stray from it and because you know your place and you don't stray from your place you avoid a lot of the fuckery that ensues during Christmas you avoid a lot of it because you know where your place is and you don't step outside that but everybody else egos egos everywhere okay so it continues from the 26th to the 31st. Endless fighting, put a double pin in that again. But when it comes to you, victory in politics, success in management, teaching and defense, success in teaching. In fact, put a pin in success, success in teaching, successful speaker, motivational speaker. So from Christmas Day onwards, you have moved other vulnerable or quiet people out of conflict with you so you stay out of conflict and then anybody else who's quiet or who like just just keeps themselves to themselves you you take them out of the equation you take them out of the fray with you and then you along with them you move on to doing really really big things in your field and in your craft and in in your projects as it were right so you end up doing really really big shit again your focus is completely different from the people who are fighting so whilst the fighting is still continuing and the power struggles in amongst family or colleagues even some of your friends whilst all that is going on you are in a completely different circle of people you are in a circle of people who are really successful in what they do and people that you can learn from and the other people who are quiet and who are kind of standing to the background, they're the ones who end up coming with you to kind of progress in their careers and progress in their vocation. So they follow you out. And you are the one who, like, in a quiet way, you become the leader of your social circle. You become the leader of your family or of your colleagues. You lead through passively just being like, I know what my focus is and I'm going to focus on that. Everybody else can fight if they want. That's not going to be me. That's not going to be me. I'm going to get the fuck up out of here because you know what I mean? So the energy that you're in is positive and it's focused and it's determined. And I know, 
I know deep down in your spirit, Virgo, you're like, this really feels ruthless as shit. I don't like this, but it's got to be done. It's got to be done. Focus on yourself and focus on what you have to bring to the table. And that is where the rewards come because you've you've done the work and you've focused on exactly where you're supposed to focus and the benefits, they come later on in the month. But yeah, there's a lot of chaos around you. But again, because you've paid, you've paid attention to spirit and what spirit has been teaching you. Yeah, you, you avoid a lot of bullshit. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. You avoid a lot of bullshit. You know. So that's a Virgo. That's what Uttara Palguni, Hasta and Chitra. Thank you, Virgo. And for the last sign of the night... We come to Pisces. So this is for Parvabhadrapada, Uttarabhadrapada and Revati. Shout out to the Queen of Swords again because she is Revati's son. Okay. So we've got the Ace of Swords and Chariot. So that energy that Virgo is on only in a more persuasive fashion Um I'll explain, Pisces. What I mean by that is that Virgo was on this energy of whilst everybody else is fighting, I'm going to focus on what I'm going to do. You know, Virgo doesn't say, leave me out of this or don't fucking drag me into this because that would have been too aggressive. Instead, Virgo just quietly backs away and gets on with what they need to do and focuses on solutions rather than, you know, rather than problems and then you know, through their behavior and through their example, they lead other people who are like them into their own success as well, right alongside them. You Pisces, you do the same thing, but it's more commanding. It's like, you are not about to drag me into your bullshit. I, I'm, I'm drawing the line right now and you make it plain. Remember, the Ace of Swords is about truth. You make that shit plain. You're not about to get me involved in no bullshit. I don't care what the hell is going on. You're not about to drag me into anything petty. You're not about to drag me into anything. I'll explain in a minute. So from the 16th to the 21st, we've got cynical opinions and danger. Now, you're not in danger per se, Pisces. The reason why that's brought up is because there is danger around you. And... You're avoiding it. You're avoiding the danger, which is what you're supposed to be doing. But then there are people who are forceful about trying to drag you into situations that you know you don't need to be in. So you got to check them. You got to check them. And unfortunately, those people don't take kindly to being checked, but it's got to be done. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it might result in them getting moody or huffy with you. Let them go let them go that's not the first that's not the first time we've got to check somebody in these next 15 days and it's not going to be the last so for the 16th to the 21st there's going to be some situations that you don't want to be in because you know it's a stupid place to be and then there are other people who are going to be like oh my god don't be a spoil sport you're going to be like look i'm fucking grown don't tell me what to do okay so pisces there's a lot of bs that you have to avoid but you're decisive about it and you're strong about it it's not like you're it's not like you're angry about it or like like the way i've expressed it it's just like no no bruh yeah you know, you're not gonna you're not gonna drive me off that cliff i'm sorry absolutely not do you know what i mean so pisces you're very determined and you're very much like there are situations i'm not going to get myself into just for the sake of it and you're right. You're right to be like that. So from the 22nd to the 25th, put a pin in wall of opinions, put a pin in standing out, put a pin in winning an argument. And then we've got lots of travel standing down from distraction. There are a lot of voices yelling at you, trying to get you to acquiesce to a certain person's opinion or acquiesce to something that you know is stupid and you're going to make it very very plain no i'm not doing that shit once again because you are 
standing down from distraction because you're so focused on what it is that needs to be done you're not about to let anybody tell you hey let's do this no i've got shit to do no but then there are people who want to shout you down and because you're pisces right and people think you're soft people want to shout you down and say well why are you doing why are you doing it why are you doing it this could be a professional situation this could be personal this could be psychological but it feels like people are trying to shout you down into something and you ain't having it and you're commanding your presence is commanding in that respect you're commanding respect and you're saying i ain't doing it you're saying it with your whole chest so from the 22nd to Christmas day, you're not angry, not in the way that I've expressed it, but you are very, very assertive and you have no problem telling people, look, I have certain things that I wanna do with my time and my life and I'm not gonna be shouted down by anybody. I'm not gonna be manipulated and I'm not gonna be told what to do. I'm fucking grown, leave me the fuck alone. So that's for the 22nd to Christmas day. From Boxing Day to New Year's Eve, you've got the same thing. Put a pin in wall of opinions, standing out and winning an argument. So put a pin in all of those. And then we've got strong-willed, passionate person, that's you. Strong competitor, strong network, courage in chaos, strong when it counts. Once again, your strength is palpable. Your determination is palpable. Your precision and your focus are palpable. And it's not that you won't make room to have a good time, you will, because Jupiter is in your sign. Um, I think for the majority of this month, like Jupiter is in your sign anyway. So you're, you are going to have a good time and you are going to have blessings at your feet, but you're not going to take them for granted. And because you're not going to take them for granted, again, you when things go wrong, which they inevitably will, because you seem to be surrounded by idiots at the moment, you are the one who steps up to the plate and you are the strong one who solves everybody's problems. Once again, you can afford to do that because you have swords energy in your reading. You have that swords energy and you have Jupiter in your sign. So you can afford to stick out your chest a little bit more and be a little bit more assertive in these situations because you, know, you, you have the cosmos on your side doing this. Virgo very wisely is like, okay, I'm just gonna back out. Nothing needed, nothing needed to be said. I'm just backing out. But you, Pisces, you take charge. You let people know this is exactly what needs to happen. And you're forceful about it. And you're like, okay, I'm gonna solve this situation. But after this, you guys pipe the fuck down and stop doing stupid shit. So you do take charge and you do become assertive and people appreciate it. And because of you, um, when it comes to New Year's Eve and when it comes to the end of 2022, people are able to enjoy themselves because you are the one who stepped in and solved the problems for everybody. And you, you kept all the egos at bay and you kind of laid down the law in a way that was helpful, but also quite forceful pretty sexy actually i'm not gonna lie you had a lot of daddy energy this this <laughs> this month you're carrying a lot of daddy energy in this latter half of the month pisces i'm not gonna lie to you. you 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 bring it to the table okay so yeah i see you being very assertive for the latter half of december i see you being very strong i see you being commanding i see you being decisive I see you saying things with your chest and I like it. Okay. All right. So that was for Pisces. That was for Purva Bajrapada, Uttara Bajrapada and Ray Vati. Love you, Pisces. Bye-bye.